Hello once again, everyone. Original Blood Ace here. I am back yet again, and here is the name of this video. The update is live. I'm going to go through what the update changes. The big freaking update. 700 megabytes, or 701, I forget what it is. So it's a fairly hefty one. It takes a while to download, depending on your uh, bandwidth and all that crap. But as you can see here on the main uh, Wara Wara Plaza, the main menu thing here, bottom left hand corner right beside the uh, Miiverse thing one of the things you'll see right there now we finally have a button on there for the friends list no more having to hit home and then going to the friends list now you can do it right from the main menu finally about time that should have been there since launch but better late than never now as for the other things I'm just gonna open up the uh, internet browser here got it open here where it lists all the new things it's over 700 megabytes and offers some several new features so the big thing is the ability to play Wii games on the Wii U gamepad. Now, no, this is, unfortunately, this isn't exactly what I thought, like most people would thought, meaning you could play games uh, like Wii games like Skyward Sword or Metroid Prime 3 or Smash Bros. on the gamepad with the gamepad. It doesn't work that way. Basically, what this means is it makes the gamepad its own screen, like its own second, it's like a, basically a secondary TV. So if you before, like, you know, you could do the off-TV play on Wii U games if someone wanted to watch TV and you had to share the TV. Now, say someone wants to watch TV, uh, and, but you want to play an old Wii game that doesn't have off-TV play. Now they do. So therefore, you can play Wii games on the Wii U gamepad. Sure, it's a smaller screen, but you'll have to still use the Wii remotes and nunchuck uh, and point it at the gamepad to play. So it basically just turns your gamepad into a smaller TV. It's still an, a nice little touch. Uh, don't think, don't think for a second that it'll like, you know, oh my goodness, the graphics will be bumped up or anything. Not really, not really. But other features here, let's get into it, are, um, ch -ch -ch. this one is an interesting thing. The ability to plug in a headset into the gamepad for chats. Uh, no, not party chat yet, but I think that's the first step that Nintendo has, uh, taken towards doing the party chat that we know is coming at some point in the future. Um... But basically, now for Wii, when you do Wii U chats with people, you don't have to have the sound coming out of the gamepad or your TV of each other talking. Now you can wear headsets and talk to each other via headsets, uh, as well as you know in other games that, that have online that have game chat. So probably also like with Monolith Soft's X game, this will be used with that. Uh, so here's a list: Wii only software can be played on the Wii U gamepad with the use of Wii Remote. Uh, I already talked about that one. Trial software, including demos, can automatically be received from Nintendo from time to time. Uh, USB keyboard support. I don't know why you'd want to do that, but I guess, well, for the internet browser, I suppose. Click on something and then you can type. Instead of having to type each key manually on the uh, gamepad, you can use your keyboard. Uh, smartphones and other devices can be used to manage Nintendo network IDs. Cool, I guess, but doesn't have anything to do with the Wii U. Dolby, Proge or Dolby Pro Logic 2, supported by Wii Software. Doesn't really much mean much for much of us. Uh, you can view friends list from the main menu now, which is a good thing by me. Headset can be connected to the Wii U gamepad for used uh, for chats or and used for chats. Several updates to the internet browser, including saving passwords, capturing images from games, blah blah blah. As well as I think uh, I still haven't tested it out myself yet, but the whole fixing uh, YouTube freezing issues. Um, other than that, PDF files can be read from the Wii U, and I think that was pretty much it. Um, and there's just a bunch of comments there. But anyway, that's about the main features. Still don't know if this is considered the big fall update. Because I would think that the... Uh, I think the spring update was a gigabyte in size, wasn't it? I could be wrong. I can't remember. But I would have thought that the big fall update was at least a gigabyte too. This is close enough. So I think there's still going to be another update at least by the end of the year. Uh, maybe even two small ones or something. Or just the one more hefty size one that'll be probably like three, four hundred megabytes or whatever. But that does it. That's a breakdown of the update. So if you have a Wii U, you should go download it and install it. Uh, so yes, this, as always, I guess, is Original Blood Ace. Stay tuned. More videos coming soon.